is up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel i'm deja Hello. today's video i'm just gonna be letting you guys know like all little pregnancy updates or whatever since i've been like here and there with this pregnancy i kind of really wanted to keep this pregnancy to myself because Layden's was so like publicized so yeah i just wanted to keep something to myself for a little bit and then i'm also gonna throw in some clips of the baby shower we had our baby shower by the time y'all see this like a month ago i really wasn't focused on like filming i have my friend jojo doing that and she kind of sucks throwing some clips from the baby shower because it's not enough clips to make a full video for you guys josephine you suck but i thought you guys would still want to see that a lot of people have asked me um about a registry and stuff we do have a registry one thing i don't understand is why do people ask the mom or dad for oh what's your registry and don't buy nothing off the registry y'all we spend so much time pretty sure everyone who makes a registry spends so much time planning and thinking and putting on that registry buy the stuff off the people registry okay because we put time into that but a lot of you guys have asked me if i had a registry so i will just link that down below um i'm not really sure how much stuff is left on there if you want to grab your internet nephew some stuff you're more than welcome to i appreciate any and everything even if you just comment love okay you don't have to but it's down below if you would like so yeah let's just get right into the questions Bria asked brie bria sorry how does it feel to be a mom of a newborn again what have you learned from your first birth that you'll definitely use for your second birth how was your first pregnancy compared to the second one how would you manage giving time to your son when you have a newborn oh that's a lot so let's she asked three different question so let's just start with the first one y'all i'm actually very scared but i feel so much more prepared this go around like i feel like i'm gonna be good i feel like this shit gonna be a breeze honestly <laughs> what have you learned from your first birth that you'll definitely use for your second birth first birth um i feel like now i know that you can wash baby hair with shampoo <laughs> i know that you can wash baby's hairs with shampoo i didn't know that with lady and he got really bad cradle cap because he had eczema in his scalp really bad and my baby hair fell out all of it um, so I feel like I'm very prepared for this one, you know? I always say like for first time moms, if you plan on having more kids, your first baby is like a trial run. And then you know, you you got it when the second one comes. My trial and errors with Layden, he's taught me a lot. Shaped me into the mommy I am today. So I feel like with him, I'll be good. I'm gonna make sure I wash his hair. <laughs> and also about like just the whole newborn stage like although they sleep a lot and stuff i feel like that's the stage goes by the fastest so enjoy it the most like although it's like when you have a newborn it's so boring because all they do is sleep but it's like you miss those days and you only have like eight weeks to enjoy him being such a little baby so i'm going to just enjoy all the moments of him being a newborn how was your first pregnancy compared to your second and how would i manage to give time to my son when i have a newborn i feel like he's coming at a perfect time it's the summer Layden will be visiting family and his dad and stuff for the summer focus on getting the new baby a schedule but by the time Layden comes back um we have a set schedule going and we're fine but how would I manage to spend my time with both of them? I feel like Layden is at a ooh, I feel like Layden is at an age now that he can help me with everything. So I don't feel like he will feel any type of way because I'm gonna make sure I incorporate him into a lot of things I do with the new baby so he doesn't feel left out. We already do our little practice with his little teddy bears and how to put on diapers and how to swaddle and how to hold the baby. Like we we go through boot camp over here, okay? Boot camp because it's new for Layden and it's new for Aki and I want them both to have their trials and tribulations with the baby. I try to just step back a little bit and let them do them. <laughs> that was my first pregnancy compared to this one. Um, It's literally night and day. Night and day, I feel like this pregnancy went by so much faster than Layden's third trimester of Layden. I was freaking miserable. I want him out so bad. Um, The whole pregnancy with Layden was like, my brain tried to block out most of the trauma. So I really kind of don't remember it. Um, I just know that that this one is the complete opposite i'm able to kind of enjoy the pregnancy i would say i don't want to like make it sound so bad but I, uh yeah it's just it's just a complete difference what are good products to use for stretch marks um i feel like for me this pregnancy i really kind of didn't care as much but with Layden, i was like i used avocado oil which helps your skin 
to be like elastic but it has to be a certain one and i got that off of amazon pretty sure it was like a cooking oil but it worked really well along with bio oil and um the cocoa butter stretch mark whole skincare line yeah like target or walmart for the moms i use all three of those with laden and then this pregnancy i really just used cocoa butter stretch mark lotion along with some bio oil lotion here and there. Am I planning on doing a natural birth? I am very much so. Hopefully I'm able to do VBAC, vaginal birth after cesarean. I did have a C-section with Layden. It was an emergency C-section. I'm trying to prepare my body for whatever, okay? I'm planning on no medication, vaginal delivery, okay? I want him to come out, although I'm scared. Like I'm, I'm not even scared for the pain very much so. I'm scared for tearing. I don't want that, like. But I do want to try to deliver him naturally. My body doesn't allow me to, or if he is bigger than Layden for whatever reason, hopefully not, because Layden was a big baby, then I guess I will have to do another C-section. But my first C-section, I kind of like, it was like easy breezy for me, honestly. A lot of people were shocked and amazed that I was able to like walk second day, run after a week. Um, I don't think I was supposed to be doing any of that, but my body allowed me to, so I did it and I've been fine ever since. What is the hardest part about pregnancy and what is your weirdest craving you've had so far? Um, the hardest part about pregnancy, I just feel like when it gets to like the end, it's like, oh, hurry up. That and just throwing up, like, oh my God. Like, what? What? what is that? I'm nauseous, so I eat, but eating makes me nauseous and I, I don't like throwing up to begin with. So when I threw up with him, literally every single day, seven, eight, nine times a day, I thought I was going to die. Him? Oh, he was like, you about to get the work. So yeah, that's hard. What is the weirdest pregnancy craving I've had? Um, I don't really have like weird pregnancy cravings. I really just crave like sweets and snacks, which I've never been a big person on that, like candy and stuff was never me but now i need like cake and ice cream and cookies like i just want all the sweets in the world what are you naming the baby oh my god you guys will find out when he's born he does have a first middle and last name already <laughs> what are some things you would not be doing with your first your second child that you did with your first child i don't really think there's too much that i won't do because like i said i feel like your first child is like trials and tribulations I feel like there's gonna be more things that I would try with this one. Like with Layden, I was scared to give him any type of solid food. So scared because it was just me and him by ourselves and I was scared that he was gonna choke it I was scared he was gonna choke. Like that was my biggest fear, him choking. It's still one of my biggest fears. Like a kid being around me choking. Anybody being around me choking. Don't do that. Especially now, like I'm CPR certified. Don't, don't, don't do that around me because I'm about to save your life. I don't want to save your life. Um, oh, I I will save your life. Now I'm okay. CPR certified me and my mans. So we gonna save our kids. Like I said, trials and tribulations with the first one. So the second one, I feel like I would do more in that aspect of like not being so much of like a helicopter parent, like allowing them to explore on their own. If they get hurt, they get hurt. Don't do it again. Somebody commented and said the baby probably a month old by now, y'all. No Adesha. She just giving us little by little. He's still here. <laughs> He's still in here, y'all. Was this pregnancy planned or a surprise? It was a surprise. I was shocked, okay? I was, oh my God. We was all shocked. The world was shocked. Just how shocked y'all was. Oh, my heart was in my stomach. I know I was telling myself like, oh, I want to have another kid. Oh, I miss having a baby. Oh, da, 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 da. And then when it finally happened, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I wasn't for real. Uh, we're here and like i said i'm super excited i can't wait for my baby what's going on with me um i'm about to start pumping to get that liquid gold colostrum and hopefully that's sending me into labor so i've been really really prepping trying to prep my body you know although like it may work it may not you never know but i'm gonna try it i'm drinking the okra water which is disgusting i'm eating my dates i can eat the dates without nothing player over here drinking my raspberry leaf tea i'm about to start um putting some pineapple juice in that over water because now i'm i'm close enough to try like to make him come right now so i can you know use the pineapple although does that really work we don't know i feel like i'm ready and prepared to try everything other than castor oil that's one thing i'm not gonna do that castor oil i'm not messing with based off the fact that castor oil is like 
a, a natural laxative uh, you can start pooping and your baby can poop inside of you which is also very dangerous I would say refrain from all castor oils okay I'm walking around doing my little curb walks I go swimming y'all which is like this is my first time swimming pregnant and that's a work ow okay that's pretty much all the baby shower was so so freaking cute shout out to my auntie tony she did her big one she decorated the whole baby shower and set up everything for us thank you so much for all of our friends and family that came out and celebrated with us i love y'all y'all did y'all big ones with y'all gifts too but yeah let me stop rambling i'm gonna show you guys some clips from our baby shower and like i said i'll put the registry in the description below if you want to get your internet nephew anything okay I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye Good morning everybody. That's my man's over there. Oh my god <laughs> We are just waking up <laughs> about to get ready for the baby shower 7 30 in the morning. We have to be there at 11. It doesn't start until 1 <laughs> Not too much because you ain't brush your teeth. So how you doing? <laughs> she be trying to do me y'all. No, her breast me smell like <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Sorry that we didn't post no video. I just thought we wanted to just, you know, just keep this like, you know. This is how we're looking. Just embrace everything. Hey, nephew. I think Stupid. you're a boy. Stupid. <laughs> hey, nephew. I think you're a boy. What am I going to call him? I call him B. What am I going to call him? He's going to be B too. What's okay. up, little nigga? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say okay. no more babies. Okay. 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 Uh, what what bone is the baby not born with? It's Lisa. 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 See you soon. I can't wait to meet you. I'll be talking to you on FaceTime. Hello, sweetie. We love you. Can't wait to see you. Can't wait to see you. Hi, this is Gigi. Can't wait to see you. Hope to see you soon, little man. Hi, I love his baby. I can't wait to see you. You were very unexpected, but I'm happy you're coming. I love you. Hey little infant, because I can't take an L right now. <laughs> we are so excited. We are excited to see Layden be our brother. We are excited to see your parents be the best parents in the world. Congratulations, Deja and Aki. Love you. We love you. Don't come out crying like that. <laughs> Y'all so quiet. <laughs> you you alright, buddy? Yes. Everybody, this is Layden. Hey. Hi, Layden. Hi, Layden. Hi, Layden. Congratulations to the big brother from Auntie Kelly, Kelly. Uncle Kirk, Chloe, and Clark. Thank you. Aww. Ooh, I'm hot. You made me want that little thing. This is from Nana. <laughs> that one, that one says that Daddy's stubborn. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody for coming out today. Mm -hmm. Showing our appreciation. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. I'm nervous, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I feel like I'm ready because I've been around for a long time, for like three years, mm -hmm. going on four. So mm -hmm. I might have to practice. There's many more to come. Right, yeah. right buddy. So many more. Right? We got more to come, y'all. <laughs> Any, any, any advice that you guys want to give me? Oh, wow. You're going to be patient. Patience? I don't have that. Yeah. I thought I'd be a good dad, you know? Yeah. My dad wasn't. <laughs> and that's not even how I do my little outro. Oh my God. Bye. 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 Bye.